So I'm getting pretty bored and I decided, you know what? I like wings. Let's make a wing for the 240SX. So what we have here is a bunch of aluminum flashing. I think it's like 10 feet of it maybe. I don't know. Um, so we got this. And we just have some pieces of steel that we're going to use to like support parts of it. So right now, um, I'm planning on making the wing about seven feet long. It's got to be massively huge and obnoxious and much larger than the car. Um, cause if it's not really, I don't know what we're doing. So we're going to, uh, cut it right there at seven feet. And now thinking about it now, I don't know why I didn't buy more metal. Well, it's because I didn't want to spend any money, but, um, so what we have here is just some angled steel right here, which I'm going to use, um, like to support it. I think one beam is going to go about here and I'm going to chop this in half and use the other one about here so they go onto the car and then we're going to have some poke off the edge. Thinking about it now, I definitely don't have enough stuff to do that, but I'm going to do the best I can and then I'm going to go from where I can, see what I can do. Um, after I mess up all the stuff that I spent money on, I'll go spend more money on other stuff that will probably not work as well. So uh, I'm going to cut this stuff apart right now and get going. Yeah, I was just able to cut that with a pair of scissors. Um, this is going to be a really weak thing. It's going to flap around everywhere. Uh, this might be bad, but eh. So I cut these notches here so I could bend the angled steel like this because the actual face of the wing is going to um, be on here, it's going to be bolted down. So the wing will have like an angle like this so it will like have like a little lip at the end, kind of like that look. Um, so I cut these so I could bend the angled steel. So now I'm going to go ahead and weld these up just so it doesn't bend back to, to keep this angle because this is how I want it. Um, I got both of them bent the exact same way, weld that up. And then we'll move on. So I welded up all of the holes that I had made and then I used the grinder and ground them down. Um, and it's pretty flat now I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of paint on it just so it doesn't instantly turn to rust. Now I'm just gonna do this in the other one too. So this is what I've got done so far. It's just like the actual wing part. It looks like pretty crappy and it's super flimsy but with the um, like curved things under it gives it so much more support and now that this is curved it's like a lot more steady. Um, it still needs, I, I mean, I think it, if I had like one brace that went all the way down the back and then maybe one in the front and then I kind of want to do like two like squares right on the end I feel like that would give it enough like stability to be like fine um we're, we'll see I don't have that much metal right now uh yeah so and then I'm just gonna do like uprights up here I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna start with like two six inch ones one there and one there, and I think it's going to be like hanging off the back, and I'm going to see what I'm going to do, because I don't really know yet. Um, and also, when I started, I already messed it up. I like destroyed it right there, and I mean it's fine. Like if I actually made this and I actually really liked it, I would make another one, but like make it look a lot nicer. Uh, we'll see how it looks after I do the uprights.
All right, so this thing's done. I mean, just look at this. This is, you don't, it's, oh my gosh. It's just massive, like, it's, I don't even know if it's gonna fit in the garage. Like, it's wider than the car, it's like 85 inches long. Oh my gosh. Look how huge that is. Look at that. And look at this. We got a broomstick here, got a wood screw on this side, and a wood screw on that side holding that in. So it's a lot more solid. This thing's stiff up here. Still got a little bit of that. I mean, this thing on a trailer going like 70 miles an hour down the highway, might have to figure something out for that. That, but I mean, the rest of it seems pretty, yeah, we'll see. Oh yeah, we gotta have the um, straps under here kind of holding it in, because these, thing uprights are nice but like they're not all right you're gonna see how massive this thing is look how big it's like is that an air brake like what just just look at like that car it's wired it's like it's mass it's amazing yes just look how big like oh man maybe a little bit of strengthening but like that is unbelievable so after everything, I paid about uh, $31 to make it, which is, I, th I think it's pretty good. Um, the like angled steel, I think that was like uh, $6. The flat steel was like $4. Um, the actual metal I used in the top, like this really floppy stuff, uh, that was like $12. And I mean, I still have like two feet of it left. I spent like $3 on nuts and bolts or something like that for all those numbers and it came out to being like $30 which is pretty amazing even though it's like but like oh my gosh so it's just um a nut and a bolt on both sides so two nuts and two bolts on this side and a strap just giving a little bit more rigidity just giving a little bit more rigidity and I mean I love it like this is exactly like what I want and I feel like this is really good like because the car doesn't have any like body kit on it or anything it's not like have a it doesn't like have a really wide presence and i feel like if the wing was like too tall it would look weird but i feel like since the wing is like still kind of like short and it's kind of close to the car it kind of like gives the car a much like bigger presence which is like neat like oh my yes So I hit about 50 miles an hour on the highway and the car was on the trailer as you can see and then this entire situation happened because my welds broke off because they were weak. Uh, that's completely, that's just wonderful. So this is going away. So of course make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Oh yes! We saw that happen. It was in fourth gear, second gear. Yeah, handbrake, that's what we want. Almost crashed into the Honda. Yeah. That's cool. Put it in neutral when you turn the car on. Neutral. Listen to this. <laughs> 